Well, now let's uh, talk about uh, the whole essence of uh, uh, life, our living, the world, the universe, and everything. First of all, the first point that uh, is very is a, first, the first point that is a fact is that it is by just an accident that each of us is born. And that moment of becoming the seed of your being, and then slowly. Over a period of nine months, becoming a baby and a human being, and forming, and becoming an entity is a fact. It is a fact that cannot be denied. It is a basic fact of our existence that you are born out of absolutely nothing, and that you are a being of body and mind, of physical, chemical. interrelationship, physical chemical creation over a period of centuries in which you came into being on earth. And this is one fact which I would say almost everybody, almost everybody in the whole world would never accept. Though it is a fact of science, they don't see it this way. They see it like a separate thing. Okay, science is separate. Somewhere, though they know it, in fact, 99% of people know that we were nowhere before we were born. We will be gone after we pass away. But this fact is not fully faced as an absolute by 99% of people. When you face this truth fully, it means what? It means that it is a fact. It's a truth. Whatever word you want to use, that there was nobody before you were born. You, when you talk about you, were not there before you were born, and you actually were, were created the, by nature in a process, which is evidenced every day. We see it in 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 hospitals when babies are born, and it is a almost a routine thing for for doctors. And if you see a cesarean operation, once I saw a cesarean operation, you can see clearly it is like a bag in which you are there, and you can be brought out. And you can be cut and you can be freed from your mom's mother's womb. It's absolutely wondrous. The, but the wonder is not of out of this world wonder. The wonder is that it is a fact of this world. The fact that this world is primary is so alien to human beings that even when science has come on after 300, 400 years also, most of people, including me, find it very difficult to accept that this universe is all there is. In which there is an there's an earth which is a fact. There are our senses through which we find through 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 which we look at reality, and that we have a certain words and concepts by which we have knowledge. But this simple fact of knowing is definitely our way of life. Everybody lives this way of life. Everybody takes this world for granted. They take their self for granted. Their consciousness for granted. If they're educated, they know a lot of subjects and they know the whole of history. They know all that. But when it comes to grounding it in fundamentals, I wonder how many people can say clearly that this universe is all that exists. This universe is all there is. That I am a part of this universe. I came from this earth. And then this is my, my body and my senses are part of my body and part of my consciousness. I am a whole entity. My mind and body is not separate. My mind body is one integrated entity. Everything happens this happens in my body is actually happening in my mind. Everything is happening in my mind is actually having a counterpart in my body. And this is a fact. There's no deeper fact to this. We can't say why of a mind and why of a consciousness. Why there is an existence. There is no such concept at all because if you ask why there is an existence, then we have to wipe out this existence to ask that why. That is the core the real core point of I think of knowledge and of wisdom and of knowing this is the greatest the most uh, the most absolute wisdom anybody can give anybody this is the wisdom of the centuries which has come to man due to science and which has been detailed out in objectivism with such emphasis behind it but I feel this is just the beginning this is absolutely the ultimate truth that there is a primacy of existence and not of your consciousness. Your consciousness is merely perceiving this existence and that also 
in the form of senses and senses integrated leads to concepts and leads to knowledge you can know the whole world you can know the whole world you can hold it in the palm of your hand you can use it you can create goods and services all that has happened to man so the second point is that this power of man is so obviously evident all around us that you cannot deny it yet we deny it when it comes to fundamentals when it comes to fundamentals we never ever talk about the power of man never we never you will never hear a whisper of that fact you will never hear one whisper of the fact that it is a value what is in front of you is never valued a car the a, a tv uh, the wonders of cell phone and connections and communication systems and knowledge and every field which has reached a peak and those great thinkers you will never hear one word of praise for them what you will hear is the age old traditional belief systems in which value and morality and goodness and what is worthwhile is not all this what is worthwhile is something other than this one which is why i'm saying the greatest wisdom is the total opposite of what the world calls wisdom it is that it is not your consciousness that is primary it is not some god that is primary no matter what depth there could be a part depth or part two there could be in religion that is not the truth it is not even the ultimate truth this truth is mixed with so much poison that it has poisoned the whole world and that is all there is to history nothing more is there there to history if you look at this whole history of man you will see part truths combined with total bizarre fantasy kind of truths where you say there is a god where you say there is some brahman where there are there are superstitions some confusion and even after science has come that whole baggage of tradition and the very vulnerability and fearful nature of existence both i'm not saying only religion is a cause for man's inability to accept that there is only reality and nothing else man is not able to accept reality completely as it is because it is very frightening or very new or very uh, he can't accept it he he finds it very difficult to accept that there is no absolute meaning to his life that there is no ultimate meaning to his life that he was born he is going to go but if you meditate on this issue for long period of time you will slowly be able to accept the fact of this fact <laughs> accept the fact of this fact because you have accepted the fact nobody denies it but yet they say but this is the whole universe but there could be a god this is uh, everything but so this whole confusion is like a virus in in the in the brain which which cuts you off from feeling the full recognition of reality and the full feeling of freedom and full uh, profound acceptance of this universe if that is not there you will find it touching in fact it touches in fact there is a one of the basic reasons why people don't value thinking they think what is there in thinking what is there in knowledge it's nothing you know everything is nothing for people then what is there for people only conformity people conform not because they can't think people conform because thinking has been outlawed by some supernatural realm some god which posits itself as superior to your consciousness and people don't realize that people don't even intellectuals don't realize that they think that it's just a myth many people say it's just a myth it doesn't matter it's harmless you know it's harmless to believe in some god it's harmless it's okay let them believe and then some people say we need beliefs and we need myths to rule people maybe it was necessary in the earlier ages and it was not really necessary people in the earlier ages it's excusable because it was not known then the truth but after science has proved it over time and people do know there is not a single person in the universe who will deny that we are taking birth that it is coming biologically not even one person can deny that that but science implicitly we have not one person will really feel that we are going into some heaven eternal life some heaven and all that nobody will literally believe it there some part will believe it but that part that believes that part that can't give up uh, is becomes crucial because man can't lead a dual life man has to feel the fact of this existence not know that existence exists and only existence exists man must feel it that feeling of 
ट्रूथ इज नॉट समथिंग विच यू नो ओनली वंस यू नो द ट्रूथ यू ऑल्सो फील इट नोइंग एंड फीलिंग गो हैंड इन हैंड द सेंस ऑफ द ट्रूथ इज लाइक अ फीलिंग यू फील एवरी फैक्ट इज अ वैल्यू टू मैन इज अ फेल्ट लाइक अ वैल्यू टू मैन एंड द इज अ फीलिंग मेन यू लुक एट अ क्लाउड एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड इट और यू जस्ट सी इट ऑब्जर्व इट परसीव इट एंड नो इट्स नेचर वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड रेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल साइंटिफिकली ट्रूली फर्स्ट हैंडेड यू फील इट this first handed understanding of the world is impossible if you don't accept the world in the first place so what happens is by default people get into reading books passing exams getting jobs settling in life somehow living life and dying so that that becomes a conformist way of living 99% of people live like that one the 1% are the ones who really discover life so this is the divide among men there is 99% of people who are ruled by some kind of beliefs and to the one person they look like some kind of a subhuman species and they are subhuman species really because they are not able to even think even open their eyes the whole universe is in front of them they're not able to see it it is a, it is ghastly but at the same time because you have to accept existence completely you accept the existence of such people also it's like you go to a tribal area and they have these funny funny customs you will accept it you say okay they are tribal But the point is, people who are driving cars today and who are ha- handling huge gadgets today and using gadgets today, who are living in big houses or even earning money because of the employment which has been released by the power of ideas, even these people are as ignorant as the tribalists. In fact, they are tribalists. Their beliefs are very, very narrow. You can't even call them beliefs. They are something they are holding on to in a vacuum, and that is why passion never develops in them. there is no passion in them it cannot come it cannot come after a point it gets solidified in their brains and then you can't talk to them and that is a divide between men the divide between men is not money haves and have not divide between men is the ones who know life who have opened their eyes to the world and yet those people who have not opened to their their eyes to the life also are human by nature these beliefs are cultural conditioning and you can notice if you meet any person you will find a goodness in them amazing goodness in them sometimes even heroic goodness in them if you give the context which means that the human nature cannot be destroyed what it what we can do is condition it with beliefs a belief is a conditioning a myth which he carries inside his head which doesn't allow him to be himself so that is why you have all this literature also of people wanting the heaven on earth, heaven on earth wanting the heaven away from earth not finding both you see the whole past history is literature also is actually in a way no not really that uh, elevate elevating because it was a period of struggle we need a literature for the future where we man is serene and profoundly happy creating things with serenity with peacefulness with joy such people have existed over the centuries the, the saintly feeling is not saintly it's living in this world that is the biggest joke those who have been called saints and gods are actually the men and those who have worshiped them are actually subhuman so it has become all a reversal and a confusion religion has been a biggest confusion and even philosophy the questions which have the fundamental questions which which the fundamental questions which we are concerned with right now of primacy of existence what is knowledge these questions have not been settled by science also science says this is our realm that realm is not ours morality has been disassociated with science that is a modern view they think there is they are being very scientific about that that is not science ethics is part of our life if we are not addressing the ethical questions the questions concerning meaning the question concerning philosophy we have not addressed any questions this is the world a world where we have not addressed the questions properly enough of fundamental ideas and how they affect human soul it has been expressed indirectly by poets in music in dance that sublime living is many many people are aware of that that there is a sublimity to human existence there is a higher form of living but most of the people are not aware of that because this whole belief systems have come in the way the other reason is that it has not spread it is still early it is still early the wisdom is there in some form at least but the wisdom has not percolated down to large numbers of people and the wisdom has not even come institutionally in our schools and colleges in our political institution our social behaviors these traditions and tribal tra- tra- tribalism has been carried over and 
it has not yet been broken down it cannot be broken down also because these ideas are the ones which have created this whole system it takes it will take a long long time for these new ideas to come which we are talking right now of privacy of existence of the sublimity of human life the higher living the fact that your consciousness is a power and it can create and experience a higher bliss the fact that you don't have to be so stupid to live your life profoundly not to be stupid not to be fearful not to carry unearned guilt not to have any pain is a natural possibility for human beings and one or two possible people do live like that they live in a height but that is not a height that is a natural living on earth it is a natural living your natural nature bound living is not connected to pain or fear or guilt these have been given by society this is a this fact of the world has to be understood completely completely it has to be under to understood while we study science and discover that science has not been discovered it has to be understood while we study history and clearly see how the the belief systems have influenced masses of people it has to be understood when we study geography understand so many cultures and why those cultures were there and why some are developed and some are underdeveloped and why the mixture is there it has to be understood when you of course when you read literature when you see the conflicts of the characters who have been who have been bound in chains and not released to be fully human it has it can be it has to be understood when you study the arts the arts where you see the same conflicts coming in paintings so this is the whole whole world where mankind has discovered everything in every field but because the discovery discoveries were not completely grounded to the primacy of existence to existence to the nature of things it has remained in a fluid form where any corruption can happen any time the second point is even that the sublimity or the higher form of living which many people live in some terms implicit terms has not percolated to the masses masses on a very very low level of existence this is what we have to realize when we look at the world this is the basic fact about the world that there is a certain kind of belief system which limits people there is a certain kind of belief system which can liberate people 